Hey everyone, I'm super excited to share with you today our new base agent. It's an autonomous on-chain agent framework built using OpenAI and the Coinbase developer platform SDK. Our goal here is to make it as easy as possible for you to get started building your own AI agents. We have several different modes you can go through, but I think the one that you'll find most interesting is the fully autonomous version, where the agent can just go off and do whatever it wants with different on-chain interactions. It's meant to be a template so you can build AI agents with access to all sorts of different smart contract functionality, integrate with any smart contract you want, perform swaps, stakes, trades, register your own base name. Look here, it did agent demo.basetest.eth all on its own as I was saying that, entirely autonomously. So as you can see, this is the page for the base, uh, base scan and it's starting to do its thing. It created a token for itself, agent assist token, and it's off autonomously interacting in the world. We have a Repl template ready to go where it's super easy for you to add whatever functionality you want. And we've also added a Twitter API in there as well if you're interested in making this. Hey everyone, really stoked to see the reception around the base agent. I wanted to put together a quick five-step guide on how you can get started with it, even if you have zero coding experience. I promise you, super easy. Step number one is we're going to go to replit.com and fork the Replit template. This is going to allow us to interact with the base agent directly from our browser using Replit. It's a super easy, straightforward way to prevent you from having to go through the process of setting up the environment yourself. So to start, I'm going to click this Use Template button over here, and it's going to prompt me to log in. I'm going to log in with my GitHub account since I've never actually used it with Repl before, so it's going to be a new account. And once this loads, we can get this template going. It's going to ask us for a name and a description, um, and we can do this for free here. If you want to upgrade to Repl Core, just email their sales team and mention Coinbase, as it says in the README. So let's go ahead and use this template. We're going to go through the forking process and go ahead and skip this. And here we are. So now we have this template and it looks intimidating. I know there's a lot of different code here. I can basically show you what it does very quickly. This agent file is where you're going to find all of the different functions that the, uh, that the agent is capable of and where you would add anything new if you wanted to. So for example, here's the create token function. Basically, this is just a description of what it does and how it works. And then right here, you can see agent wallet.deploy token with a name, symbol, and initial supply. What we're going to do to get this up and running is set up our OpenAI keys and our CDP API keys. So if you notice down here somewhere, it says secrets, and it asks us for three different values, the OpenAI API key, the CDP API key, and the CDP private key. So what we want to do now is go get those. I'm going to start by getting the CDP API key. I already have an account, so it's going to bring me straight into the portal page after I sign in, if I even need to. No, but if not, it's really easy to create an account, no KYC or anything required, or you can use your existing Coinbase account. You're going to see this project page. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Wait for this to load. There we go, project eight. Go over to the API keys section, and I'm going to create a new API key. And if you try to use this, when I put this out, it's not going to be available. I'm already deleting this right after I record this video. So here's the API key name. So I'm going to copy this, bring it over to our base agent, and put it into the CDP API key name. Add that as a secret. Private key, same thing. Come over here, take this private key, copy it, and save it. We're going to do the same thing for OpenAI now, but for this one, we also have to fund it so that it is able to use the, uh, the APIs that are available with OpenAI. The CDP is completely free right now. So I'm logged out right now, but to log in, I'm going to click this button over here. If you don't already have an OpenAI account, you're going to want to click the sign up button, obviously. So I'm going to sign in with my Google account. And once I'm logged in, I'm at this page here. Now I'm going to go to the dashboard. And in the dashboard, you're going to want to grab an API key. Up here in the right corner, you're going to see create a new secret key. So let's create this key. And let's go ahead and copy this key. Now, we can put this into the agent, but it's not going to work just yet until we actually fund this account. And to fund it, let's see if I can find this spot here. My account's already funded, so I'm not super worried about this. But for the sake of showing you, billing, here we go. So you click here, your profile, go over to billing, and you're going to go ahead and add a payment method and top it up. For context, when I started building the base agent on Thursday, I think I put $5 in this account. So it's super cheap. You just need to have some amount of money in. So now that we're back on this page, we're going to go ahead and click the run button. And it's going to go ahead and install everything for us and start the running process. It usually takes about 10 seconds to provision a wallet for the agent and set it up with faucet funds. 
And after that's done, we'll get an option of how exactly we want to run this agent. There's a few different ways we can do it. The first is this interactive chat mode where you can type to the agent in natural language and it'll respond with whatever action you want it to take. And the other is just an autonomous action mode, which I showed in the first demo. For the sake of spicing things up, I'll go ahead and show you what that chat demo looks like here. And now I can type in whatever I want, like send point oh oh one ETH to Lincoln.base.eth. And it'll go ahead and do this for us right here in this terminal. Once this process is complete, we'll get a confirmation from the agent. We can check out the transaction link. But this is quite literally exactly how simple it is to get started. If you want to add your own features into this agent, it's just as easy. You can simply take any one of these functions and use it as a template to interact with the Coinbase Developer Platform SDK and add in your own functionality. If you want to do something involving like Twitter or some other sort of API, it's also incredibly easy. Here down at the bottom of the template, I have a little bit of information about how you could add a new function. It doesn't even have to be Web3. Any sort of Web2 API available in Python, you can use with this agent. So I hope this is helpful in getting you guys started. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me or one of the emails within the Replit template. And happy building. Can't wait to see what you build.